my Bible was sitting over on the dresser. It was flipping. The pages were flipping and the fan was going in my room, but it flipped to a page that I just had to, just something drawed me to it. And so I went over and I picked the Bible up and sit back down. And it was in Mark chapter 10. And the chapter was about divorce. And I knew right then, I knew right then, I asked him to forgive me for everything. And I remember crying myself to sleep that night. The next morning, my sister had come over. When she seen me doing all this, she just, the look on her face was <laughs> like, what happened to you? She knew something was new about me, but she could not pinpoint it. I knew what I was gonna do at that time. I knew as soon as I woke up what I needed to do. And that was coming to Jonathan's mom and dad and telling them that it was all me. It was my fault and I was sorry for everything, for everything that I put everybody through. I came, I called Sheila and asked her if she could, if I could talk to her and Jimmy, and she said yes. I came over. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. That was a big step for me to humble myself and admit everything. It was all my fault. And, um, they forgave me. I had a letter for Jonathan, and I had told him, I, or told them, I said, if you, I said, I don't know if he will forgive me for what I've done to him and the kids. But could you give this letter to him? And she said yes. It was a great feeling to hear his voice. car broke down and it's overheated anyway. He said, well, do you want me and the kids to come and get you? Oh boy. I was like, yes. <laughs> I was so excited. Um, man, I was so excited. I was jumping around and like, mom, how do I look? Do I look okay? And you know, mom was trying to figure out what was going on in me too, because she wasn't for sure what, you know, I was psychotic one day on the verge of killing myself to happy <laughs> and uh, she she was like okay you're going with Jonathan well are you coming home I said I don't know 